Well, the world's smallest heart pump made a stop in Bryan today. Yeah, clinicians from St. Joseph Health System getting a first-hand look inside the Impella Mobile Lab. KX HD News reporter Tashara Parker takes a look inside the interactive learning center and shows us how doctors are trained to use what could potentially be life-saving technology. It looks like a normal day for these St. Joseph Health professionals, but on the outside, not so normal. It's pretty exciting to have this kind of technology here with us because um, it's something that uh, is on the forefront of cardiovascular uh, interventions right now. Keith Pilkleton is one of many clinicians at St. Joseph Regional Health Center. He got a chance to receive hands-on training in the ABO Med Impella Mobile Learning Lab. It's an interactive learning center that offers mobile training on the world's smallest heart pump, one of the newest minimally invasive heart technologies. This technology is able to take uh, additional flow and load off of the main pumping chamber of the heart, pump it back out to the aorta, and then during that relaxed state of the heart, allow it to flow a little more easily back down into the coronary artery. In layman's terms, the technology reduces the workload on the heart, specifically for procedures where someone has either had a massive heart attack or for other high-risk procedures where someone's overall heart function is very weak. Okay, so Dr. Gray, you're going to show me how to insert the impella. How do we go ahead and start? So we, we've got a a 14 French sheath in the in the uh, right femoral artery. Dr. Gray is a staff cardiologist with the Central Texas Heart System who has some experience with the ABOMED procedures. He says unlike this technology, some devices require more invasive surgeries to support the heart totally. This procedure is inserted through the uh, through the artery in the leg, uh, and it's inserted through the through the aorta. So the fact that we're one of the facilities here uh, in this part of the country in this part of the state that can provide that for our community is pretty amazing. Clinicians and staff working together to put cutting edge technology to use. In Bryant, Tashar Parker, KX HD News. St. Joseph recently became the first health system in the region to offer a heart procedure using the ABOMED technology and is working toward a Valve Institute as part of its $22.5 million emergency and trauma center right here in Bryant.